Welcome back to Dr. Clev 80 Gaming. Today we're going to look at the Way of Nature event, Nature's Awakening. This event is going to feature Mojo. There are eight tasks associated with this event. Each of these tasks will give you nature coins. And the nature coins you're going to be able to use in the shop in order to upgrade Mojo or whichever hero you like. Many of these tasks you're just going to be able to complete just going through your daily routines. Uh, the beginning we have a day after day, which is a login log in task. Just log in, you can collect your coins. I collected mine last night at 10 o'clock. If you're in the eastern side of the United States, that's, that's when this event went live. Uh, you can spend emeralds and you're going to get some more nature coins. Uh, you can spend energy. Now this event... You're going to be able to do more than once. It's a repeatable task. Generous soul means you're going to be buying stuff. If you buy things, you'll get VIP points. You'll get these nature chests as well as the nature coins. And the, the, ta the nature chests have fragments and things that you're going to need to up upgrade your heroes, primarily mojo. Uh, you have buy outland chest or open outland chest rather. It also can be completed again, repeatable. You, know, you can do expeditions, and generally these are made that you you just do them every day, and you'll get the maximum amount of coins. It's a non-repeatable task. Hydra Hunter, you battle Hydra nine times again. It's non-repeatable. Just fight the Hydra every day for three days, and you'll get all these coins. Curse Bones. This deals with Mojo. And this deals with leveling them up. And so as you level your mojo, you will get coins. If you've already leveled mojo, you'll get all the coins up to the level. So as you can see here, my mojo is already violet plus two. I was a little late on the mojo mojo train. I've been playing since October. And he just wasn't a priority at the time. And looking back, I should have made him more of a priority, I believe. Particularly in Hydra fighting and pairing him with you. So let's look at our let's look at the shop. Uh, in the shop, again, we're gonna have different items. You can buy these nature chests, and again, um, we can hit the info there, and it tells you the drop rates and what it is you're looking to get uh, from the nature chest. That's that's on that little eye button. If you just click it, it comes up, and it shows you all the different things you can get. It also shows you drop rates in nature dolls. Uh, the, in Nature Dolls, you, you're going to get Soul Stones. It looks like you can get one, five, one, three, or five Soul Stones. Um, you can also get things like gold and huge XP potions uh, from these dolls. Now, it's my personal preference to hold the dolls. Don't open them as soon as you get them. It seems to me I get better rates if I hold them and get a number of them. Some people will hold them for things like Hero's Way. When it says to you know, ask for 90, 80, 80 or 90 soul stones, I think it's 90 soul stones, you can hold the dolls until then and open them and you'll get a number of soul stones from them. Now, things I will tell you about this shop, when you look at all these different items, they are more costly. They're more expensive in this shop than if you went to the normal shops and bought them. Um, like the arena shop or um, well, I'll show you just the other shops they're a little bit more expensive uh, so you can use, but you use, this is what you use your light coins for it looks like um, and I have 1200 light coins again I did do that login task uh, last night at 10 o'clock uh, why would I do that because I just don't want it to disappear on me I, I'm kind of Paranoid about like and paranoid about that. You can also uh, use these nature coins to evolve your mojo. So I'm sitting on four stars right now. He's not super super effective. I do have him leveled to 120, but all of his stats are not 120. So I got some work to do on on my mojo uh, to um, to get him where he needs to be. All right, now there again, there's an event um, shop we can buy things with money. Uh, this will give you VIP points. Notice the first, uh, the first 
chest, event chest, uh, event bundle. That's what it's called, event bundle. It's six ninety nine, so it's seven dollars, and for seven dollars you get six hundred VIP. So you'll get those nature coins, plus these nature coins, plus you'll get ten dolls, and you'll get looks like a million gold, and then you'll get everybody else in your guild will get a nature doll and two hundred nature coins. Uh, so it's just a way to uh, not only increase what you're trying to do, but also increase the uh, your guild, and it goes up from there. Um, you know, you can you can spend as much or as little on this event as you want. I'm gearing towards zero dollars spent on this event, um, but you're free to do whatever you would like. Uh, it doesn't hurt me in the slightest. All right, so just for instance, uh, going back to these. Um, what's a little, a little bit more expensive? Um, some of the things we saw, okay, like the Voodoo Staff is two seventy three. Um, this, you know, the Rosary and the Serenity Stones are one hundred forty nine. Um, the hat's like three ninety three. Um, the Minotaur's head's like sixteen fifty. You kind of see what I've spent some of my things on. Um, you know, this Book of Prophecies thirteen seventy five. I, I, and again, when we go back to the shop, I know that see Voodoo is four hundred, uh, Dragon's Heart six hundred. We didn't see that. We saw Serenity Stone, um, but you can see it's just a little bit more. I know the pastor is still sixteen fifty. Uh, I know the Flame of Heart sixteen fifty. So I, I'm not saying don't spend your nature coins on these things. I mean, if you're going to do the tasks and you need these these items, go ahead and spend it if that's what you want. It's the return. It's the return on the, the time spent on the game that you need to kind of, you know, you might want to weigh out and look at. Now, I do think the all the orange, um, all the orange items, I think they're good buys. Um, if you're just doing tasks and and you can upgrade this way, because these 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 items, um, you need a lot. You need a lot of energy to farm these items and so this might be a more effective way for you to get that um, and then yeah see here again book of prophecies 1900 now i have valkyries favors so i i get coins often and i buy these artifacts but looking looking at the the books and the rings and mojo's uh, mojo's artifact the mask of anger uh, you get three for nine hundred. You generally buy one for four, so it's you. Act, this is actually cheaper. This is cheaper uh, to buy the artifact fragments from this shop. Uh, you can also always just get the skin stones. You will need um, plenty of them uh, in order to in order to fill out your people, your max them out, and uh, to max out your heroes. All right. So what's my plan? I'm planning just to do the tasks. Um, just log in, uh, get my tasks completed. I'm not going to make any purchases. I'm just going to grind it out, do the tasks. I do have some energy I have saved up. I might spend it on this task. Um, thinking about it a little bit more, just trying to figure out just how important is Mojo to me. And that's really the thing you have to, to, to think about. How important is Mojo to you? If he's not very important, don't spend the resources. Just do the task, get the coins, find some to level somebody else up, and then move on. If he's very important, maybe you spend the extra energy. Maybe you open some extra outland chests. Uh, but I think it's a good event. It's a fun event. I like collecting the coins, and I like making the decisions. And I think that's the thing I like best about this game is I can decide which hero do I want to put my effort and energy into, and which heroes do I want to leave on the back burner and may never touch? All right, leave your thoughts and comments. What do you think about this event? Is it something that you're that you're excited about? Do you like Mojo? And um, what's your thoughts on it? Um, just leave that in the comment section below. I look forward to seeing you guys in in the arena, and good luck to, in today's fights.